Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create a waving flag animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I have already imported a couple of footages. So over here we have some images of flags of different countries so you can download them on your own. And over here we have the stock footage, so which is this purple fabric kind of footage. So I'll put a link in the description from where you can download this footage. And after that you can import it in After Effects. Also we have this bonus footage, so I'll show what you can do with this powerful technique. So you have to stick till the end of this video. Now let's begin. So first I'm going to create a new composition. Let's call this main. And width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration whatever you want. Just click on OK. I'm going to create another composition. Let's call this flag and rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to open up the flag composition and let's quickly drag one of the flags just like this. If you want, you can scale this up to make it fit to the whole composition or you can just simply reduce the comp size, whatever you want. Now once you're done with this, let's go back to the main comp and over here I'm going to drag our flag composition. Now let's drag the footage into the composition. After that, we are going to apply a couple of effects onto this. So first one is tint. Let's apply this so that it will make it black and white. After that, let's search for curves. Let's apply it. And at last, we are going to apply fast box blur. Just like that. So let's play around with the fast box blur. So I'm going to just simply set this to something like five. And let's enable the repeat edge pixel so that it will give it a really smooth view. And we are not going to mess with the curves right now. We will see what you can do with this. So after that, you can select this layer and let's change its mode. If you're not able to see the modes option, then you can click over here. After that, you can click on modes. And from here, let's select the hard light mode. And right away, you can see we are able to see the texture. So if I play back here, you can see that the texture is moving, but the flag is staying still. So in order to fix that, we are going to apply another effect. So let's search for displacement map. Let's drag it onto the flag. After that, let's change the layer to our video footage and let's enable the effects and mask. After that, you can change the maximum horizontal displacement. So let's set the both of these values to 25. So now if I play back here, you can see our flag is moving with the texture itself. Now, if you want, you can get rid of the outlines by simply resizing the compositions or if you want, you can just enable the preserve transparency from here. And now you can see that we are able to see only the flag. So this is how you can create this kind of VV flag and the best part is that if you want you can just simply go inside the comp and you can drag whatever flag you want and let me just quickly scale this up to the full screen something like this and now if I go back here you can see we have our flag and all the effects are already applied. Now you can also play around with the curves so if I select this layer and you can see that we have the curves option now if I play with it you can see that we have some extreme look to the texture something like this so you can see that we have some extreme waving so you can control all of these using the curves now just to show you how powerful this technique is i'm going to do one more thing i'm going to just simply replace this footage with another bonus footage so i'm going to just simply hold on the alt key and let's drag it over here so before that let me just quickly show you what this footage is so this is nothing but just a couple of colors like dissolving in water something like this so if I go back to the main comp and if I play it here you can see that we are able to see the flag appearing over here and now if I just decrease the shadows here you can see that we are able to just see the things which are in the smoke so in this way you can create some really nice smoke reveal so now our flag is visible only where we have the smoke just like that so this is how you can create some really interesting animations and you can use it in different projects. Now if you learned something from this video then make sure to like and subscribe. Also if you have any idea for the tutorial then you can mention in the comments below. So with that being said my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.